river run, run through the hills, run river run to the sea, run river run to your place beneath the sun, run river run over me, run through the land, you run through my soul, bring me wisdom and peace, run through all the Hi, this is Jan Lewis. Welcome to be my guest today. We have on the show Kristen Sabatino, and she is the CEO of True Impressions, Inc., Dental Guards. And for those of you, well, welcome, Kristen. For those of you out there who have a problem with clenching and grinding, hello. I do, too. And, Kristen, where did I, where did I see your... Read about you. Where were you focused on? Um, at the end of the year last year, the Yankee Express had done an article on us and our custom Fit Sports mouth guards and helping us um, tell people about our custom fit um, mouth guards and how great they are and how they're easily accessible for everyone. How did you get interested in this? This is really wild. I've never seen anybody else except the dentist care about it. <laughs> well, I do have a dental background. Yeah. Um, and I've always looked for different... Um, ways to help the community and about two years ago um, there was a private school that I had heard of from somebody's child going there and they were having uh, different uh, mouth guard companies come to the school to help the kids do their self impressions and helping these people know about custom fit sports mouth guards and I over the years have seen many injuries teeth injuries, face injuries, to people who have not been wearing mouth guards because these mouth guards weren't um, required. Yeah. And in turn, even though they're not required, they're very necessary. And I took the opportunity to try and get out to the community and tell people about my custom mouth guards and also help them get them at a very affordable and easy way. I think this is great. Now this, I, she had just put these down here, and boy does this look familiar. This is the thing that <laughs> I had put in my mouth, and it's, you know, where you have to do the mold. And it, why do they have to make it so barbaric? <laughs> why? Because it's like, I have to, I, they have to use a pediatric one, I think. <laughs> really? Now, is this, the, how, is this how you do it? You begin? You do the same so thing? So we have a couple of different trays, yes. We use a material, it's not so goopy mm -hmm. as what you might find at a dentist office. And it's actually, um, the people mix it up themselves, they put it in the tray themselves, um, and it just squishes out, but it's not as drippy and goopy as you may find in a dentist office. Are these your teeth? Yeah. You did it for yourself? <laughs> yes. How long does it take Does it has to stay in there? Well. Without it being the material being the refrigerator before you do your impression, you got about a minute. But I recommend in people when they order the kits online yeah. to put it in the refrigerator. That gives them a little extra working time. So usually about three minutes for. So you have a kit that people can have now. This is show us the things that you have uh, that you brought with. I know that I recognize right off the bat that mouth guard that you, you know, wear at night to protect your teeth. And I was sharing with Kristen that the one I have from from my dentist is. It's way too tight. It hurts like you know what. And then, I, for some reason, how do you keep from your mouth hanging open and drooling? <laughs> it was, your pillow is like, you know, Niagara Falls. How do you prevent that? So a lot of times our, our we drool when we're wearing such things yeah. <laughs> because our body thinks it's food yeah. and it's creating saliva. Yeah. So sometimes if you're not wearing it enough, mm -hmm. it might... Um, create drool more often. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. But usually we get used to that. You get used to it. Usually. Now, what's the process of, how do people think, find out that they need this and why, and they come to you instead of going somewhere else? Well, people might hear, um, the, their loved ones might tell them they're grinding their teeth or mm -hmm. clenching their teeth, and they're just looking for something to help get that layer of protection between those teeth. Mm -hmm. So they may have tried a Walmart version of um, a night guard where you buy it, you boil it, and they're kind of big and floppy and they don't stand great. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you don't have much success. No. This is made from the self-impression that you would uh, order online, mm -hmm. and it's made to really hug the teeth mm. and stay in. So yeah. more of a fit than what you would get from a store. All right, another thing too is this one that you have right here. 
does not look as bulky as the one that I have from my dentist. This one looks lighter weight, and you said there's a little bit of uh, couple in it too. A little bit of squishy. What I have is hard, solid plastic, and this one is a little different than that. So the dentist um, night guards mm -hmm. are made to a lot of times help with temporal mandibular joint I dysfunction. Have to yeah, I've got that too. So there's a lot going on mm -hmm. and it the reason that those and the dentist office they're very expensive because the dentist has to put a lot of time into it. Very expensive. And they have to craft it to your jaw, how your teeth are hitting. Um, so a lot of um, time and money goes into that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why that could be something that somebody needs. This, mine are great because they're just an impression of the teeth mm. and they're gonna stay in great. Maybe you just need that layer of protection between your teeth so you're not clenching yeah. and grinding Well, them. they say that, you know, they take a look at your teeth and they say, well, you know, your teeth are obviously going downward. I mean, they're starting right. to look really bad. But I won't wear it because, again, I, it's just not that comfortable. Now, this one is for the kids playing football. Yes. Am I correct? The boys. With the, now, this is the kind that I would get over at the store, and I tried for myself. And I ended up, because they're so big, I ended up cutting <laughs> this part here and this part there. And by the time I got through, it was so little. Why bother? Right. The, and this is... This is what it looks like in the mold, right? So this would be, so we take the impression of the teeth mm -hmm. and then it gets poured up into stone and then we have layers of plastic that are either crafted for different colors um, and then we put it into this machine and it pressure forms over the model, which makes, makes for a great fit. Um, and then there's different kinds of mouth guards. There's thinner ones that are a single layer. I see this one. That oh, be, I like this one. Those it's, are great for younger kids. Oh, how about for me? Because there's, oh yeah. But will it stay in the mouth at night? It or does. is this just for football? Well, th that could be for any sport. And it will stay in the It'll mouth. It'll stay in the mouth. So those are great. I do a lot of those for younger children. Believe it or not, parents are purchasing these mouth guards for their five, six-year-olds, seven, eight-year-olds. These are a great way to get kids used to mouth guards when yeah. playing sports. Yeah. They're not too thick. They're not bulky. They stay in great, and kids can drink from their water bottles. Yeah. They can communicate, and kids yeah. are excited about wearing them. If you compare that with, well, the solid kind, or if, which is a solid one? Which is the more solid one? I'm not sure. So these would be, like, these this are, here. that would be a night guard, so that wouldn't be for sports. So that would just be comparing, they're similar. Yeah. They're two different functions. But can you um, make a night guard that is on this line? Yes. Well, you can, what the purpose of these night guards and what you're trying to do is just put a layer of protection between your teeth. Yeah. Um, Rather than stick a, you know, piece of paper. Exactly. I'll probably go right through it. Exactly. My jaw hurts this morning or this afternoon because I think I was clenching during the night. And were you wearing a night guard? No, because okay. it's driving me yeah. nuts. Yeah. So it's, it, the jaw can be very t complicated. Yeah. Um, and that's a lot of times where you would want to go and see your dentist for that particular thing. But mm. if your jaw wasn't complicated and you were just looking for something to put that layer of protection between your teeth so that you're not grinding them at night, mm. the night guard, would, and especially this one, mm -hmm. that's a great layer of protection. And that's pretty much as this far as... This is very as, light. Yes. This is not, compared to the one I have, which is very thick and heavy, that doesn't do it with me. Maybe I would be able to handle something very skinny, but they don't make them, I guess, that much, except you do. <laughs> now, you have, um, it says, true mouth guards, don't wait till it's too late. Uh, custom mouth guards to fit, truemouthguards.com. How can people reach you? So they can reach me from truemouthguards.com, and on there, we have um, links to our email. You can also find my phone number on that. Uh, okay. website at all as what's also. your phone number my phone number is 508-341-1646 and i can also be emailed at true impressions inc at yahoo.com now anybody can connect with you right yes anybody would be it whether you have the problem with um the grinding or you have a youngster or even an adult who's doing the sports thing and i still am amazed at this rubbery i've never seen one like this and you think that that would stay in my mouth during the night that would be okay yes that would, and this would be more for a sports um, mouth guard, yeah. but it is very similar to the other night guards and just the fit. It helps stay in, it helps protect the teeth. Um, what, make, what stops people? Why are some people, myself included, chewing on it? Well, <laughs> chew on usually it. anything that has a squishiness to it, it does encourage chewing. So some people may chew more, and that could be hard versus soft.
Mm. We're trying to prevent that, but there's many, it, it's kind of complicated. Yeah, it probably depends on your personality too, right? Right, right. Because I know I was, what did I was given something and I was gnawing at it, chewing it, moving it all around, and I'm like, what's the point? Right. You, now, you worked in the dental field. Yes. Where did you go to school? I went to Quinn Stegman Community oh. College. I was the first graduating class for the dental assisting program. When was that? Uh, 2001, okay. I believe. Yeah. But I actually started uh, being a dental assistant right out of high school, mm-hmm. and um, I'm. It's almost 20 years later. That did I, you know? 20 years later? <laughs> I thought you were in your 20s now. <laughs> well, now, did you know when you were in high school this is what you wanted to do? Absolutely not. No. Uh, no. Where were you heading? <laughs> I was thinking I wanted to do some kind of clerical. Um, administrative type and I had the opportunity to go and try that my senior year boring and realize it wasn't for me (laughs) and then uh, I had a local dentist take me in and she showed me some great skills and I still wasn't sure what I wanted to do and after trying different things I'm still pursuing teeth I think it's me. What does your family think about this? They're very excited for me. Yeah. Uh, again, I've been able to help out the family with different dental things mm-hmm. through the years, so mm-hmm. that's been great. And I really enjoy the people aspect of my job. Mm-hmm. So now having something where I'm hel- able to help educate people on the need for sports, more so sports my- mouth guards, because um, dental injuries, people's teeth are forever. So you hope, <laughs> and that's the thing. So smiles, first, you know, first impressions, all that is so important. Mm-hmm. And people are playing a lot of sports, and maybe they're not contact sports, mm-hmm. but sports such as soccer and basketball. Uh, I've seen kids breaking teeth, and things that could have been prevented if mouth guards were being worn during that time, because if many people don't know about custom mouth guards Mm. and helping get the word out educate people they exist and then helping them find a way to get them affordable affordable it's really exciting when people do get it you send it to them is that correct you send the kit so there's two different ways you can go online at truemouthguards.com i've got different pictures i've got different Mm -hmm. options you can order your kit Mm -hmm. one thing that i'm really trying to promote and encourage would be my team fits so, for instance, the um, high school coach for the girls' basketball team in Sutton, mm-hmm. he saw my ad on the Yankee Express as well. Mm-hmm. And he also had an experience with his daughter who played basketball, and she was a mouth guard wearer, and the one time she didn't have her mouth guard in, mm-hmm. ha- got a blow to the face, and I can't remember exactly what happened, but he's paid thousands of dollars to have that tooth fixed. Mm -hmm. So he had told the parents about what the article he saw and said this is a great thing. And next thing I know, I have a parent calling me saying, how do I do this? And I told them about online, but then I also said, if you find interest, if you get enough people, I'll happily come help people with their self-impression kit and help turnaround time be quicker. And then the whole team ended up getting a mouth guard and Mm. That must have happened. Now, is this, how long have you been doing this? So the uh, mouth guard aspect of my company I've had for just about three years. Three years. How are you, besides coming on my show and getting the word out, word of mouth, how else are you getting getting known? Pretty much uh, just more so word of mouth at the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, people love what they see. They tell friends. I'm trying to get involved with other local groups mm-hmm. as for um, Douglas Youth Axe and Soccer, uh, High Hoops Basketball out of the Hab in Uxbridge, even the Outlaws, which is a local hockey team, they've had me come and let me offer my products to their uh, sports players. And just I'm making contacts with athletic boosters and telling people that this is a good thing and hopefully that's been also helping me spread the word and get myself and, out and there. Of course, yeah, that's great when the sports aspect of that's wonderful. How about those of us, though, who are looking for the one, the night guard, because this is, fits right in with it, mm-hmm. get the word out to there. I'm trying to think the best ways to do that, I would imagine, by television like this, but um, I know you have a radio station not far from you over in Webster on 16. 
things like that, the more people, but this is also very visual too, but you can also get the word out that way as well. Um, there are a lot of different ways and a lot of different generations because um, you know, people who grind their teeth are just, you know, my niece, like, who knows, somebody could hear her in her sleep and she was a kid. Yeah. Um, it is a scary noise. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard it. I know, I understand clenching, not grinding. Someone said it's the same, but I don't think so. Clenching is just, <laughs> the other is like. Clenching, yeah, clenching is usually just gritting your teeth together and then grinding makes this almost like yeah. fingernails on a chalkboard type sound. Yeah, I've for never a lot heard it, but they said that she did that in her sleep. And uh, this is a, such a good dual purpose. We are talking again with Kristen Sabatino, and she's the CEO of True Impressions Incorporated, and these are mouth guards. And, you know, the big thing too, of course, is the sports for the kids. And again, how can these parents reach you? So parents can reach me from my website, which is truemouthguards.com. That's where they can either order a kit or they can email me directly from that page. They can also um, email me from trueimpressionsinc at yahoo.com or you can even give me a call. And that number is 508-341-1646. What comes in the kit? So the kit, actually, I have brought ah. a little sample of what might come in a kit. Does it come uh, UPS? Right now I'm using the um, regular mail. Okay. And Aww. when people order online, yeah. they kind of tell me the size, because there's very different size trays. Mm. I try to give um, a couple of different trays to better fit the individual. Yeah, like pediatric, there's a small one there. Yeah. Right, so this okay. is kind of like a medium. Okay. There's smaller, there's two sizes smaller, okay. two sizes larger. So which do you give people a... So in, when they're picking out what they want, they mm -hmm. kind of tell me they tell you. what okay. size they are, in a way, yeah. body build. Mm -hmm. And I usually give them one there and then one under it. So I try to give enough for a couple impressions mm -hmm. because it can be kind of a tricky process. And I, I have detailed impression uh -huh. instructions. Um, it talks about if you were to have something that you don't want to get impression material stuck under, that you, it might not be a good idea to do that. Um, and then it just makes sure a child has an adult with them, mm. refrigerate the material. And this oh, just, you've got to refrigerate the mold? The, mold? You, the impression material. You do? Okay. It looks like um, silly putty. It does. It feels <laughs> like silly putty. Yeah. And it's really easy. It's just a matter of making sure you read the instructions to their entirety before you start the whole impression process. And the whole process takes how long? The whole process, it could take about 10 minutes. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's very, it's very easy. Very easy, yeah. Um, sometimes it, it does. It's great to do one impression and then still take the other impression mm -hmm. and send them both to me mm -hmm. because um, when we're taking these impressions, we want to make sure that the material is getting up around the teeth but also around the gums because especially for the um, mouth guards we want to protect some of that gum area as mm. well yeah so the higher the impression the better if somebody just barely sinks their teeth into the impression mm -hmm. for the mouth guard it's not going to make a great mouth guard okay so as much of everything in the area that we can grasp in that impression I see. the better are you going to um there's so many high schools and schools are you getting the word out by, by actually talking with the, the principal and getting the word out? So maybe you could do a presentation for parents. Yes. So what I have been doing recently is trying to contact athletic directors. Mm -hmm. And some have very graciously invited me to come and talk with them and share mm -hmm. what my um, expectations are and what I hope to do for the athletes of their schools. Um, every school is kind of different. Mm -hmm. And I do find that when people get to hold these and touch them and see, yeah. and they really understand them more. Yeah. And they're more apt to purchasing and spending the money for their children's teeth to be protected. I'm fascinated by the, the soft one. Yeah. I, my only question is, will it, would it stay in there overnight? Will I start chewing? I know. I had one that was raw, and I started chewing on it. <laughs> well, how do you stop yourself? Yeah, it's hard. It's all, right. all these things. If we could stop clenching or grinding our teeth at night, we would, too. Yeah. My mother so. had a night guard. didn't bother her one bit. She had one by the, you know, from the dentist, and she sailed right through it. I tried it, and I'm like, oh, my God, this thing is, not only does it feel big, it just feels solid, and I, it hurts yeah. too tight. 
and yet they do the same. I mean, they make the the, the mold and all mm-hmm. that good fun stuff. But I love the idea that you actually send it to the people and they can do it themselves. Now, do the parents, how do they respond at first? Are they like, oh my God, I love it? Or are they a little bit like, gee, I don't know? Well, it kind of is, it's, it can go either way. I have parents that look at these and say, how much are they? And I tell them, you know, they for the younger kids, they start at $50. For the, the bigger, thicker, more contact sports, they start at $60. Some parents are like, whoa, wow, that's more than I was planning on spending. It's a whole lot less than the dentist. Exactly. And then you have other parents that um, realize that $60 is a great price to be protecting their children's smell, that possibly they've already invested thousands mm-hmm. of dollars in orthodontics. I know it. You know, they're probably thinking it's about, what, a buck something over at the store. Right. And so that they don't realize, but if you, so the store isn't working for you, right? Right. Okay. Now, you got a choice. It's either the buck something at Walmart, and that's not working for you, or it's going to be three, four, five hundred at the dentist. This is, what, 60? 60? Yes. They start at 60 yeah. for different color options. Yeah, definitely. It, 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 well, what a, I wish I'd known you were there. <laughs> well, now I do know you're there. Um, yeah, I think this is great. What else would you like to get people to know about it? Um, one other thing is just customer satisfaction. Mm-hmm. Knowing that people have tried my product and they're coming back to me to get a ne- another one for their child the next year. Mm-hmm. So when kids are younger, their mouths are changing. Mm-hmm. Um, so a mouth guard, they might get six months out of it, depending on what stage they're at mm-hmm. in their dental growth. Um, so those parents are reordering. So that says a lot that mm-hmm. this worked for their child and they want another one. And then there's other parents that their kids are playing high school sports, they're done growing, but they're playing so many sports and they've got so much use out of it that they're also interested in getting another. Mm-hmm. And then I have other parents that had gotten one the first year. Their child went through a new mouth guard, a boil and bite, every month they had said. They had purchased two from me that when I had come they still had those mouth guards that they were using for that child because they hadn't grown out of it and it still fit. Still fit. And they were still able to be using it. So there, I recommend a year, mm-hmm. but there are parents that have, their children have had them longer than that. Do you have many people come to you who really realize that they can use it as an adult, as a mouth guard, as a guard at night? More so people have who have were looking for that have been getting the hard soft combo night guard. Mm. Um, as far as what I do see is parents are coming to order or get fit for their children for a mouth guard and then saying, Hey, you know what? I need I need one too. And so they're both getting taken care of at the same time. Or having a parent who just purchased one for their child mm. and then a couple months later saying Give me a call. Mm. I'm interested. I'm playing a sport. I just got whacked in the face. It's really time for me to get one too. Now, will this um, this one that I like here, this the rubbery one, um, does this come in a different kit? Is it you have to ask for a different kind? No, that this squishy thin mouth guard. This is one of mine called the defense. Mm-hmm. So there's defense solid, which would be like one solid color, kind of mm-hmm. looking like this, or mm-hmm. there's defense funky. Mm-hmm. So the solid is 49, the funky, I believe it was $60. Okay. So it's just looking right. through the store, mm-hmm. looking for those pictures, exactly what you're interested yeah, in. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then, so that would be that kind. And then there's a two layer protection mouth guards, which come with one color, two color, three colors. The one color starts at 60. <laughs> Two I scare everyone. <laughs> and that's the intent. And the fun thing is, is these two X protection okay. mouth guards. You All can right. put any logo. Yeah. And you can do anything, anything you can put on them. I find that they go back a little too far, and I have to cut a little bit there. I mean, you know, it's like you know. Depending on what kind of purpose you're looking for, um, if it were you were getting something for a night guard, usually yeah. you want to have all the tooth surface covered. All right. So Okay, one more time. How can people get a hold of you? So people can get a hold of me um, from uh, truemouthguards.com. They can find my email link through there. You can also send me an email directly to trueimpressionsinc at yahoo.com. Or you can call me at 508-341-1646. Kristen Sabatino, thank you very much. I learned a lot about moth guards today. <laughs> we'll see you next time. I'll be my guest. Run, river, run, run through the hills, 
Run, river, run to the sea. Run, river, run to your place beneath the sun. Run, river, run over me. Run.